freaking it is holiday season. Happy holidays. This may be our last episode of the year. So Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. and Happy New Year. You guys ho, Christmas, ho, ho. Christmas guy? I'm a big Christmas guy. I'm a big I Christmas. watch a, I've been watching no? a Christmas movie every day. What I I'm glad you took it here. Best Christmas movies. The Santa Clauses. There's three of them. Which ones? With Kurt Russell? No, with Tim oh, Allen. Oh, with Tim Allen? Did you give the Kurt no, Russell ones a, a chance? I don't know. The newer ones on Netflix? Sick. Yeah? Sick. What about... <laughs> it, it, <laughs> Should we? He, he <laughs> hasn't <laughs> said anything since we <laughs> started. Fuck out of here, Grinch. Grinch. <laughs> yeah. No, I... Holiday's I, not it for you like that? Uh, nah, I think it just kind of got ruined for me as he, a kid. But uh, I do like The Grinch. The Grinch is a... Me and Kristen watch it. I watch a Christmas movie every single day. Do you remember Jack Frost from back in the day? Bro. Fucking classic, yeah. right? Chris, I was about to put it on last night, and Christian was like... It's too sad. Too soon? Oh, I'm like, no, it's too sad. I was like, I'll watch it by myself. Because the old head dies. But I then know, he comes back and snowman. I know. That, oh, of course, Home Alone. Of course. Um, bro, Elf. Like, Frosty the Snowman was sad for me. Frosty? Yo, y'all tell us. Like, yeah, oh, like the original the, one? Yeah. I, and I need, I need recommendations. So tell us what's the best Christmas movies, because I'm watching Christmas There's movies drama. all for the rest of the month. Yeah. Because Kurt's going to fucking look at it after this last podcast. I right? am. Yeah. I've watched all the comments. <laughs> yeah, my mom watches every podcast. Yo, your dad came up to me. Too. Oh, no. Your dad was like, he said, yeah, man. Oh, I no. Oh, no. <laughs> she, said, she, has four, she has four boys, she bro. She hates me. She's, she has four boys. She's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad was giving me bad props. Day. Up, Austin, he's like, you're the sauce on that yeah, job. Man. Yeah, yeah. I told you when I did the meet and greet, the dude was like, hey, yo, tell Kurt you got fans, too. <laughs> I appreciate that. Whoever that was, I appreciate All that. Right, let's but, get let, into this card. But a, last life. weekend, I did pick the main event right. I only had, I only picked like three fights. I got shit on besides the main event. Yeah. I, I picked Anthony good. Smith. I know you picked Cleo Roundtree, but. Yeah. Bro. I did pick Young Song Yadong. Song Yadong, baby. Leon Edwards Colby. What are you thinking on this while Kurt's doing this thing? I got Colby. I do too. I'm hoping Colby, and I, I think his pace, I think he will break Leon. Yeah, if he doesn't get knocked if, out. If you uh, look back when they when Usman was fighting him, like he was getting tired, bro. And mm-hmm. even before that head kick, like he was getting tired. And I think Colby can just fucking, bro. His his pace is is crazy. Now, are you talking about the first one or the second one? The first one. The but first even one. the second, the, bro. The second fight was close, close with Usman and Leon. Right. So I was I've been thinking about this for a little while now. My question would be: Do you think Colby definitely beats that first Leon? This second Leon, I feel like, like even with the grappling threat and all that stuff, I think he truly, truly did prepare. And my thing is, like, don't you, you do you feel like that's truly going to help him against a Kobe Covington? I, I think that people forget how like Kobe's good on the feet, bro. He yeah. will throw in the pocket. He exchanges like he's only he doesn't get dropped like that. Like he doesn't get like knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Like he's tough in the pocket, and he just makes it like it's going to sound kind of whack but chaos like that's yeah. his nickname like he does like he stands in there he throws and then he gets his shots so i don't know i just think he'll be and usa yeah exactly i'm going usa i hope he brings it back you mm-hmm. know the only time i think i'm going to cheer against that man is going to be as sean has to fight him mm-hmm. uh and the reason i'm saying that is because obviously yes. team usa but i do think that he's going to be able to break leon i think leon has shown that he gets tired in those five round fights I'm not hating on that. You know, I'm probably yeah. looking for a time. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think his pressure is going to be a lot. And it, it's like Leon's a kickboxer. It needs distance, right? So he's going to have to move a lot if he's going to want to get off. And Colby's you know going to be right too? in his face. He's uh, – Colby's uh, – I'm sorry. Leon's usually open stance with most people. Mm-hmm. So, like, he's used to having all those open stance weapons. He's not going to have that with Colby because Colby's going to be Southpaw. Yeah. So it takes away a lot of his – that, He's going to have to open, constantly move. That open stance head kick, that open stance body kick, it's going to take away a lot of that shit. So my, my laptop has not charged that. What's the what's the value on these on these two? Uh, guys? Colby's a slight underdog, and I think and and I think if anything, and it's a very winnable fight for Colby. I think that's also the other reason where it's like you have it's to value. Take it. You have to you have to take that. It's a value. Yeah. So to. honestly, I think it's like a Kamara Usman Tyron Woodley type fight. Okay. I think that he's going to be able to either keep him on the cage. That Colby's got good like clinch work too, yeah, like just yeah, keeping yeah. you there, bro, he's hanging a, on you. Colby's a dog, bro. Yeah. yeah. Next, Pantoja versus Brandon Royval. This it's, is a tough one. It seems like I, I always miss the Brandon Royval fight. I don't think this is going to be as tough as we think. I, I mean, think Pantoja kind of sparks him. I'm picking Pantoja as well. I just think he's he's able to take a punch, and that dude, he's you want to talk about a dog? That guy's a dog. He took the best from Brandon Moreno, and I like Brandon a lot. Um, 
I, I just don't think Roy Val has the durability in the gas tank for five rounds. I just don't think it's possible. His best chance is in the first round. Yeah, Pantoja. Um, last person that beat him was in 2020, and there was that dude, Askar, Askarov. And it, yeah, I think the it was, guy. I think it was a close fight. Um, but be, besides that, he fucking decision, Manal Cape, uh, submitted. <clears throat> I mean, he submitted Brandon Ravel already. And uh, then. He already fought? They already yeah, fought? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, and then he submitted. Uh, Alex Wait, he Perez. beat Manel Cop. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then in 2023, obviously he beat Marino. So, yeah, yeah I'm riding with Pantoja. Well, moving on to Shawnee's division. What do you think, Shavkat, Rachmanov, Stephen Wonderboy? Shavkat by whatever he wants. You think that easy? Yes. Yeah. What? But uh, okay. Facts. Bro, I think he can out. I think he can outstrike Wonder Boy. I think he can probably knock Wonder Boy out, and I think he can easily submit Wonder Boy if he yeah. wants to take him down, submit him. Like he's going. That's to. what I was going to. I think a lot of people forget. Like Shavkat's good as shit, bro. He's good like, on the ground, and he's very yeah. He's good at transitioning. Last to what person he wants. Has Wonder Boy been submitted yet? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think. And so. I, but I think Shavkat could do it. Yeah. And I do, bro. Wonder Boy's like 42 years old or whatever it is. 40. Doesn't I mean, think he's 40. I said is he 40? He's, four, he's 40. Kevin Holland was struggling. Oh, he's, shit. I he's, thought he was 38. <laughs> he's, he's 40. But I think Shavkat's just on a different level than Wonder Boy. I think I'll be, listen, I'll be the first one to be, I'll fucking take my shit all back if Wonder Boy wins. <laughs> I just don't see it happening. I don't either. Um, Tony Ferguson, Patty Pimlet. I hope Tony Ferguson. I hope Tony Ferguson. And you know what? He's going to have David Goggins in his corner. I can't pick against David Goggins in the corner. Bro, he's like, I'm picking not Tony Ferguson. Yeah. I, I, I am honestly. Bro, he could, make, he could make this. People forget, he dropped Chandler. Like, yeah. he fucking. He hit hard. He was fucking cracking Bobby Green, too, before yeah. it, that shit happened. So I'm when, going with Tony you, Ferguson. When you say, because the term y'all use hope, hope sounds like. Hope I really don't think so, yeah, but, but I hope, hope he can pull it off. Hope because he's on a six-fight skit. Yes. Which is crazy. So you can't crazy. just come out and say, man, now nah, Tony's <laughs> got this. Because yeah. of David. Like, we hope because he seems to have put the right work in. He found the motivation. And David Goggins, obviously David's putting his name on the line, being in the corner. So yeah. And Patty Pimblett didn't win against Jared Gordon. Uh, and is yeah, a very sure. chin high, like shitty striker. So. They got a Mike David Goggins up because I got to hear this oh, shit. Oh man, who's Come gonna on, carry the ball? Stay <laughs> on. The, the Instagram clips are gonna yeah, be legendary said. after this. I'm bro. I'm like I, I'm making I'm, all media content. I'm so this excited <laughs> about this card. It's you gonna watch the card? Yeah, we're watching. We're watching. Nice. No, no, no. Hey, what are you guys see. gonna watch? Huh? You wanna come hang out with us? Yeah, you see, I, you know, what I'm saying, I gotta say it on air, guys. Cause I'm gonna come hang out. Yeah. Vicente Luque versus Ian Gary. Let's stay here for a little you bit. You can take wait, this wait, one. Yeah. Vicente Luque all day long by um, by knockout. knockout. Yeah. Damn. I think he's gonna knock him out. You I'm know? just an Ian Gary I, hater. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Yep. I just, uh, <laughs> like, I don't bro, I never, I, yo, I've never felt like I, I just, it's just whack. I just can't. I keep saying whack. I think he's like. I honestly enjoyed watching him fight, but not that much. Who? And especially Ian, Ian Gary. And I especially but didn't like him after we went and saw him he's in a Boston. Good, he's a good fighter, but the way he acts, the way he acted towards Neil, yeah. the shit that he said about Neil that got brought up in Neil's court cases. Yeah, and she's like, up. nah, bro. Like, that's fucked up. Um, he is a very, I'm not going to lie, he's a good fighter. Like, he's very skilled. Good but, fighter, or good striker. Good striker that we've seen. I don't think his grappling game is good all striker. that. I good striker. That's that's what that's what and I think Luke can out grapple him. Luke is a good ass grappler, bro. Does People, he use it? Good ass submissions, sleeping on him. So he did use it against. Uh, he's used it against a lot. Of, he Michael submitted Chiesa. Chiesa. He submitted a lot of people, bro. Right. I just feel like it could be easier fights now, but for sure, pe for sure. Well, he's fighting a lot smarter now. So before, let's see, let's see where he goes. Before you it. leave, that do you think Ian Gary should show up to this press conference? Do you think it's gonna be bad no. for him? I'm I mean, he about, has to though. It'd be like to OJ up. taking the case. Like, yo, he has don't to show up. go. Yo, to listen, if he doesn't show up, bro, his whole like. His whole brand. The is worst thing fucked. he can, and it's already like getting fucking. The worst thing he can do is show up and be a bitch and yeah, not talk. Yeah, for sure. Talk your shit, yeah, still, yeah. bro. Roll with yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna come from Vicente. Though. Think, it's gonna come no, from. No, it's, it's gonna come from. Tony. It's gonna come from. It's gonna come from, it's gonna come from <laughs> Kobe. Kobe. It's gonna come from Kobe. It's gonna Kobe, come from Patty. Leon. It's gonna come from all of them. All he has to do is laugh one time. Yeah, like a little yeah. smirk out. 
the fuck you like? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get roasted. Cold. But you know what though? I'm so against like fat, like people talking shit about family yeah. and shit like that. But you, when you carry cameras with you and you bring your like your family into it and your wife's making all your stuff, you brought now you've opened that door. Yeah, you've opened that door. And he, uh, Luke posted something about like Jesus or something, and like he wrote on there like something about the only Jesus you're gonna see is like. Me standing across from you in the Baptized cage, or yeah, some, some shit. shit. Yeah. Like, probably like the shit Shut with the, up. like I said, I've said it a million times. The shit with the gyms, like that shit's just no, it, it, it ain't it. And then, like I said, yeah, I'm yeah. Just not, not 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 feeling the guy, man. The, pre, the prelim state action packed as well. Uh, let's go right into Josh and yep. Bryce Mitchell. Josh short notice and, for Bryce Mitchell. Just Josh to throw Emmett. it out. I mean, oh, short notice for Bryce Mitchell, though, right? Yeah, but I'm picking Josh Emmett. He's got steam in them. He's I, got steam in these. I'm boys. going to. I'm going for the wrestle fuck. Yeah. I'm going to go Bryce Mitchell um, because Josh Emmett, who I think is who's the last person to, re- to wrestle fuck Josh Emmett though. The I don't know who's the last person Bryce Emmett with Bryce wrestle Mitchell wrestle fuck though. He beat him on the down the feet. He beat him on that ground a decent bit. When did he take him down? I think he dropped him. I think he dropped him. Yeah. I don't think he took him down though. I also don't think that Josh Emmett's really fought anybody that's like a, a grapple fuck. He did. He did take down uh, Poria. Yeah, Yair Rodriguez, and they got submitted, mm-hmm. but he had also got his ass whooped before that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just I think Bryce Mitchell's 28, 29, or whatever he is, and you got a 38 year old Josh Emmett who's trying to you know get this resurgence back. I wouldn't be surprised if he knocks out Bryce, but that's the only way I see him winning. Um, I'm is, going Bryce Mitchell. Yeah, is he plus money? I would assume. Uh, did it just say via UFC minus 166 for Bryce Mitchell plus ah. 140 for Josh Emmett? I mean, Ilya did take him down three times, but outside of that, Ilya's actually really good. Uh, really good. He's not really though, getting right? taken down. Last time, I'm and, going Bryce Mitchell. All right, I am. I fine. think he's going to get to his back. I, I like Bryce. And he's relentless, and he doesn't give it up. And he'll, yeah. and he'll round after round, he will continue to try to implement his grabbing yep. attack. <sighs> What's I'm the next one? Irene. Skip. Out. Yeah. <laughs> I went. I ain't talking about that because she she disappointed me against Amanda Nunes. Skip. I'm fine with that. Kobe. Cody Garbrandt versus Brian. Cody Garbrandt. That's my fucking dog. I'm By riding with him. Finish? By money line. I money just, line. I'm picking Brian Cody Kelleher by knockout. <sighs> you serious? <laughs> yeah. I Brian, am. Yo, Brian's, Brian's he's a good. Dog. He's, tough. He's, got, he's got a good ass guillotine, too. And he's an underdog, right? He, has he to be. is a plus 170. Yeah, I, I would say that's By a UFC. live dog. That's a lot. That dog. next fight is good, too. Uh, Casey O'Neill versus the Queen of Violence, Ariane Lipsky. Casey O'Neill. I'm picking I'm picking her, but it's a good it's a good scrap. It's my man right here. A lot oh, of <laughs> that's your man? <laughs> the Dustin Jacoby's my man. I'm not saying I'm going with him, but I'm Dustin saying Jaco- this is my guy Dustin right Jacoby's <laughs> my man, so yeah. I'm going with Dustin. <laughs> Me, too. What's next? We got a... Um, Wrap this up. Speed it up. Co- Cody Durden. Y'all still Cody Durden been um upsetting, I believe, right? Or did he lose his last one, right? No, nah, he won his last one, I think. Is he on a you fight history? Let me see. Oh, he fought Hadley. That's right. He kind of that was like a, a, a um they was kind of going back and forth in the scrambles. Beat Charles Johnson. Uh I say, is that Mata? Cody Durden. I'll Yo, Cody, Dur- Cody Durden kind of been I'll on pick, some shit. He's like pick, five and one in his last six. One, I'll two, pick three, Durden four, five, six. Five and one. He's a he's a good ass wrestler, man. Mm-hmm. Who's after that? Cody Durden, Andre Feely, oh, of Lucas course. Almeida. Uh, I'm picking Lucas Almeida in that, but let's touch on Randy before we wrap up. Wrap up. Oh no, Randy. Brown. I'm taking uh, Andre Feely. All right, that's fine. Disrespectful. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Randy Brown versus Muslim Salikov. Randy's fucking. I think Randy's going to put the paws on this man. Very much, I think he's gonna turn him into a grappler, even though he does like the strike. Mm-hmm. I think he he, he has like a, a lot of. Randy's long as shit, bro. Yeah, and and yo, Muslim is short. Like, if he's shorter you've than never me. been in a room with Randy, you don't realize how tall and long this motherfucker is long until he's like there. You know what I mean? You're like, Fucking God damn, bro! Like, <laughs> touch you from across the room, type shit. Yeah. So, Randy yeah, Brown. That's the last one. That's gonna be one of my um, my best bets. Is definitely gonna be Randy Brown. What's what's odds on that? Does it say right there? It says minus two fifty for Randy. Randy, Randy is. It. I'm also taking Maybe. Durden. You're, you're taking Cody Durden? Yeah, because uh, yeah, I think Tagir lost to Tim late Elliott. to the party. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to make sure because I, I forgot who Tagir was. So. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, I'm going right. Durden too. It's going to be a good fucking card. I'm very excited. I was for impressed it. that Durden beat Jake Hadley. Yeah, Jake Hadley's yeah. really good. I was yeah. going to scrap too. This is the last card of the year. I, I, I don't think we are going to do anything else. I guess we will just play it by ear if we want to. Yeah, well, no, we'll fucking we'll re- do recap we'll it. Couple, yeah, okay, yeah. so we'll, we'll have like two, next week. a couple weeks in there, depending on what goes on. And, um, yeah, we'll keep it going. We'll return. We'll return off of that. Yo, sadly, the birds, man. <laughs> the birds took another one to those stinking cowboys. You know what I hate? All these people that live up here that are all fucking cowboys fans. Yeah. My, yeah. my man was just talking here. about it on his on his Facebook. He just was saying like you had to be around Someone back in the day. Someone messaged me. I'm like, yo, get the <laughs> fuck out of my message box. <laughs> Like, how are you going to be from around here and you're for the Cowboys? Like, fucking Allen. Fuck Allen. Oh, yeah. yeah fuck you, Allen. Allen, you're a piece yeah, of but, shit. Yeah, the, bird, the birds are having a tough, a tough, tough... Uh, they lost fucking two... They lost two games to the best two teams. We, you know what I'm we, saying? It's all did. good. 49ers gonna, and fucking Cowboys. We're going to bounce back. We got broke up down there, though. We man. lost to the 49ers and the Cowboys. Yeah. Before that, we lost to the Jets, but... Yeah, that was... Come on. Yeah. That was a fluke. Yeah. Uh, other, other, <laughs> other than that... We got to wrap it up. That's it. I know you guys want to... Uh, Get to All right. it. Steady picks. We love y'all. Sign up. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two. You ever notice that? One. Oh. From the back. We're, from the the only, back. we're the only species that be fucking from the front. That's right. not, yo, actually. Think about true it. True story.